Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to add a page to your ePortfolio. On today's assignment, scroll down to the third post and you'll see the ePortfolio adding This Is My Life. If you open the document, it tells you precisely what I want on that ePortfolio page. I'm going to want three different things. The This Is My Life slideshow, this is my life essay, and this is my live Flipgrid video. When you are finished adding each of the above items, you're going to turn in your ePortfolio to Google Classroom for credit. I will release it after I've done, I'm done grading it. That way you can edit it further. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a Google homepage. Remember, to get to your ePortfolio, you have to click on the waffle which is the grid of dots in the upper right hand corner. Then you're going to scroll down to sites. It will take a moment to load. After which you're going to go ahead and open up your site. Again, be patient while it's loading. Remember, it's a whole website that you've generated. As of right now, you only have one page. That is the home page. We are going to add a page today. Click on Pages. Click on the plus sign. And call it, This is My Life. Please capitalize the T in this, the M in my, and the L in life. Click Done. It is up to you if you'd like to change the header to a different image or keep it at the same as your home image. If you want to change it, you can click Change Image. You can go out and find an image and save it and then upload it or you can select from the ones that Google supplies. I'm going to go ahead and just choose from one that is already supplied and click select. Remember at any time you can go back and change that. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is the slideshow. However, we need to search this is my life in 10 years exactly to find the presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to go over to insert. I'm going to select drive. I'm going to select the search button and paste it. Hit enter. And there's the slideshow. It should pop right up. Go ahead and double click. It is entirely up to you if you'd like to center it and move it, or if you want to make it larger. The great thing is you can click the arrows in order to go through the entire slideshow. So that was the first thing, the slideshow. Now it's done. The next thing is This Is My Life essay. So I'm going to go ahead and select This Is My Life in 10 Years final essay. Again, I'm going to copy. I can either search in my drive or I know it's a doc. So I could go down to Google Docs as well. I'm going to select the magnifying glass. Again, I'm going to paste the exact title. We're going to pretend Anna's is mine, so I'm going to double click. And there it is. Again, I can stretch it out so that way it looks larger. But don't worry, your viewer will be able to see the whole essay. Let me show you how. If I simply go into preview, 
it will show me what my site is looking like. Here's my slideshow. See how I can go through each slide very easily? Here's my paper. There's a scroll bar that will take you through the entire paper, even if you can't see it in your dashboard or the edited version. When you're done looking, go ahead and select the X. All right, those are those two items. The last thing you need to do is your Flipgrid video. I made a separate video showing you how to get your Flipgrid video into your drive. Make sure you watch that. Once it's in your drive though, you can go ahead and do insert, drive, and then you can search for the video. You have to know what the video is called though. I will tell you that. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have a video in here, but let me check. I think it started with the number nine. Here it is. Make sure you know what you call it, or it could take forever to look for it. I'm going to double click it. Again, it's up to you if you want to put it side by side with your slideshow. You could do that. Or you can put it in whatever order you want. I don't mind either way. Okay. Remember, you can also change the color of the panels if that's something that interests you. but that is not a requirement. So this is how I'll grade it. It will have your banner, I'm checking for that, five points, video, five points, slideshow, five points, paper, five points. This is a 20 point checker for seeing these four items, header, video, slideshow, essay, in any order that you want. And then when you're done, you'll simply go back Click on the assignment, and then you will add your portfolio from your drive from there. I'm in a test student account, so it won't show up for me because the test student has not created one. But you should see it, especially if you recently worked on it. Attach it and then click Turn In. If you have any questions or any issues, please let me know. Thanks.